Today, I've come to Hopton Castle just to have a look round. This is a 13th century tower house, or possibly a hunting lodge. Later on in the English Civil War, it was besieged, and many of the insiders who were defending this place were brutally murdered. It's not much of a house now, it's in ruins, but it's been beautifully preserved by the Hopton Preservation Trust. And I'm here today to find and meet Tom Baker, who's gonna tell me all about it. But where we're standing now is two meters deep in rubble, so we wouldn't have been able to stand here. Right. Thanks. Coming through the doorway there, uh, you had to literally scramble up a hill oh, of rubble. Right. That was the first job, to clear that out. It's a grade one listed building and a scheduled ancient monument. It's um, custom built. It, it's built to a certain high level for them, yes. specifications. And it would have been rendered inside and out. This floor would have been a business floor. And the one above would have been the um, private apartments of the ha family and their guests. Yes. Um, all rendered and probably upstairs hung with tapestries. This is when is this dated? Early 14th century, so uh, it's now 700 years old. And that was built on the existing mott. And, and this was purpose-built? Purpose-built. For, for the family of de Hopton, is that right? Walter de Hopton and his family, yes. Well, you certainly get a good idea of what it must have looked like and felt like in these little antechambers, these little rooms, peering out, seeing the wonderful view that probably didn't change a huge amount back in the 13th century. I love the condition of the brickwork. It's in real wonderful state. And, and when you look up, you can see these amazing archways. So de Hopton had the castle and he lived here and it was quite a peaceful time for him, was it? It was indeed yeah. and it would have been very pleasant. Um, mm. You know, he was um, one of the uh, William the Conqueror's lesser gentry, um, the Earl of uh, that, w w that owned Clun would have been more important. But yes. nevertheless, he was wealthy. Right. And of course, William the Conqueror gave out land and then had the Doomsday Book written in order to make it official. Although William um, de Hopton had a, a, a nice time here, it's the grisly part, the part that you've got very nicely explained on your, your beautiful book out the, at the gate, mm. was, took place in the English Civil War, which was a, a fairly horrible siege. It was 1644, and it was one of the one of only two um, roundhead, that parliamentarian strongholds, uh, with Brampton Bryan, a bigger castle, and um, they held out against the royalists within a, a royalist area. The final the, the battle was through the guard roads, and uh, where they mined and came in. And that's um, because it's the weakest part, really. It, it, yes, it's, uh, uh, it was quite common in medieval times for castles to be uh, taken via the, the guard robe area. There were 29 men, two women, and the two women were allowed to go and the others were slaughtered. You know, the rules of the war yes. at the time um, would say that if you were given two, and they were given three chances right. to surrender, and you don't, then yes. your life is forfeit yes. for causing all that bother. Yes. Um, Bear in mind, you know that on that third time that you go out, that that's what's going to beat you. That's right. quite it, it, worrying. But it's interesting because the, the, I think it's still in some editions of the in, uh, Oxford English Dictionary, the phrase Hopton Quarter, because the Roundheads, who went on, of course, to win the war, yes. would take their revenge in other areas, shouting, 
you'll get Hopton Quarter, by which they meant no quarter at all. No quarter at all. So that phrase became... It stuck. Yeah. Yes. Gosh. 